Right, so, we Audi. We Audi. This one belongs to Mrs. Kearney. So, Mrs. Kearney's we Audi. Uh, just a bit of TLC. Really needs the wash. Really needs the wash. I've let myself down here because it's me that does it. Right, and I've let it go. <laughs> so, I need to do the wash. I need to do the big wash. I need to do the big wash inside, outside, dash, everything. I need to do all of it. So, anyway. We will crack on. Oh, who did that? Who put that jack there? You Jackman. So we'll crack on, we'll get the motor on the ramp and uh, we'll strip the back wheels off it and we'll see, make sure these pads are right. Nice Delphi, OE quality. Right, so there's the wee car there. It is an Audi. Pause here. Right, so the fault scan, no leaks on, so I'm not expecting anything. Hopefully not, anyway. I'll let this run. Right, there is a U code there which is a loss of communication. Error value received, let's see what it says. Repair assist. Come on. Yeah, we'll see, okay. C, check, fail, download, failed. Okay. Let's leave that. Oh, escape. Yes. Escape. Quicker is Steam's been working fine on it, so not have any issues with it, so we'll leave as is, right? So no fault codes there. I'll we'll just pretend that wasn't there. Right, so I've not found anything else wrong with that. Just on the rear brake pads low. So suspension arms getting a wee bit rusty, but fine. Fine for now. Um exhaust all good. Don't see any leaks, that's aircon. Yeah, I've got and drain will probably be up there somewhere up behind that heat shield or something, so uh right, so no leaks that I can see. I've not found any play in the suspension, pins, bushes, or ball joints. Front brakes still okay. Plenty of thickness on them. They're still good. Still good. Underside of the car still looks good. Sills are still good. Axle, it's starting to corrode the axle but show me the shock casings. Shock casings are corroded there. Same with that one there, but they're getting battered with stones. You can see everything here at the back, it's, it's just getting battered with stones and stuff. So, springs still good, no brakes. So, just these rear pads getting a bit low, they're not too bad, but they are getting a wee bit low. You can see them just if I move that wheel a wee bit, you can see the pads are getting a wee bit low. They do a wee bit, yeah, eh, but I can feel it when I'm braking. It's when you get your brake pads like this and they're low, um, you know, your brakes just don't feel as good as they. They do with a thick brake pad if you like, so they're either on or off, so we'll crack on here, we'll put that in the maintenance mode, um, we'll turn the cab off, put the handbrake off, and then we'll start the procedure, uh, and we've got these new Delphi OE quality pads in this, well hopefully they're right first, we'll take one wheel off and make sure they're right, but it should be, should be, but you never know, eh? I had a guy earlier on who says, no no, definitely the right parts, I used the registration, okay, doesn't matter, I've used the registration on every one that I order parts for, sometimes they get it wrong, you know, it's not to say the guy's booked out a, a whatever part and he picks up the wrong part for the shelf. That happens quite a lot, so the ramp's not in the lock, so I'll need to move it. So we've got the, the battery charger hooked up to it. So I heard that there, and it tells you to follow this procedure to the letter, or you can end up with having no part break after you've replaced your pads. So we'll follow this to the letter, we've put the battery charger on it, it's on maintenance mode, it's on diag, so we can now what it tells us to do, turn the ignition switch off, replace the brake pads and finish installation, turn the ignition switch back on and then press OK. So we'll turn it off, go and do the pads and this and then come back to this. So we will put the ignition off, so that's off, right, and I'll now raise the car up. Got the jump leads on, I will get something for there. What's that rag will do? So I'll stop it and get scratched. 
So, we'll put the ramp up. Good man, that's a hard win. Alright, so we'll get the wheel off. The wheel off. 17 more there. Up at these on, that's not these, so. Should be no dramas. Oh, speak it. Oh. See, so I heard the motors going back. Some of these modern uh, cars now, you don't need to put the piston wind back tool on. Uh, so we'll see if you're in it. Uh, take this off. I'd be stuck in there already. Sure go. There we go. So that's good. So we'll give that a good old clean. Right, so. Same. So surely, seven mil here. Yep. A wee bit tight. You've probably never been out of these. Give these a good old clean. Let the brakes be nice and free. Probably just rust to be honest with you. Let's see, I think it's the caliper off the move. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, the big green way being pushed it over. Sticky bed, stuck a wee bit. Alright, see, there you go, I've managed to get underneath the brake pad. So this one, thankfully, it's good for me. Because we don't need to get the wing back too late. To get that off. So, see. Get out of there. You'll be stuck in there. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad there. Yeah. Oh, I could have had ages left in these, but you know, make it look after the car. So, I think we'd have ages left on them. I wonder if these can come out past the, the car here. Those have come out, all the new ones come out. <coughs> Cleaning time. Hold on. Cleaning new pins, well, cleaned them up anyway. Cleaned all the hub, cleaned the carrier. So, we'll see if these P's and D's fit. Hopefully they do. Right, so, the disc quality. That's quality. Okay. Uh, you don't need the carrier off, so that's good. So you don't need that brake carrier off, so. You know what's going to happen, but at some point in its life it's going to need that off and then you now you see what happened to the other Audi bloody break the bolts on it so just depends uh, just depends what kind of to be honest um, it's 
fucking alley. Hobbs went reggae for so the, the steel bolts and the alley look like it. Nice to fucking move nice and freely in there. Slide back. It's not got much to slide back because it's a brand new pad. The one with the spring goes to the side as well. Right, you can just check your old pads if you're not sure. See where the marks are. So, I'm presuming my brakes are going to feel much better after that. I mean, they were working fine. Eh? You can just you get that and say, oh, and off. So there's no kind of in between. No, it feels better when you find this. Here we are. Got you better. Guys. With the calipers touching. And we fit this bad boy. Lovely stuff, right? Lovely. My new clean bolts. There, there, there. Just a little bit of grease on just this pin, not the bolt, not the thread. So a little bit of grease on the pin. Right? Just on the pin, not on the thread. Right? Help it slide. Better way to clean. Same again, not on the thread, just on the side. Right, so, and then, okay, that's much better. Right, so, right, actually, I'll get these off my hands. <laughs> Meteors. Oops, dizzies. Be careful with these bolts because it can sometimes be easily stripped. These the steel can be quite hard on the bolt and it damages the thread on the hub and the carrier. So just be careful when you're fitting these. Sometimes you used to engineer it with helicoil things. You know, you need to put a hub on some things. Just depends. Nice and tight. Good and tight. German standard. On these. Right. So that's tight enough. Put the caliper caps back on. Keep all the dust out. Right. And give this spring a lot clean. Right, no idea what happened there, but it's done. <laughs> So I'm not sure if we've recorded or what happened, but okay doke. So yeah, just like that, that's that side done as well. So I've got the new Delphi's on there, new Delphi's on there, we've got four new tyres. We'll give it a good old clean uh, when the weather's better. <laughs> so we'll get the machine, we'll get the car back down. What does it say actually? Uh, replace the brake pad and finish installation, turn the ignition switch on and then press OK to proceed. So we'll do that. Right, she's back on. We'll press the OK button. And you can hear it winding the motors in and out. So, and now it's saying, please apply the part brake. Okay. Part brake is on. Okay. Rear brake pads completed. Okay, so we'll pause here. Right, so what I did was followed that, turned the ignition, uh, sorry, turned the handbrake on and off, pumped the pedal, um, and I've checked the other side, this side should be the same. Yeah, nice and free, so that side's free. That side's free, just got a bit of grease, so let me hands. Pulls your brake. Right, sounds good. 
Yep, she's on. So we'll get the wheel back on and Mrs. Kearney's car should be all good in the hood. So she'll be very pleased with Mr. Kearney. There you go, eh? There you go. She'll be happy. There you go. What's that saying? Happy wife, happy life. So if you haven't already, hit the thumb, hit the subscribe, man. Like, tag, share and follow, all that jazz. And have yourselves a great old day.